Perseverance discovered rocks filled with parallel mineral veins, similar to ones on Earth referred to as beef. But now close-up images reveal that the veins are clogged with bits of other rocks and minerals that changes the origin story. On this episode of Mars Guy. In the previous episode, I presented the latest discovery by Perseverance at the edge of the feature referred to as Bright Angel. Geologists seek out contacts like this between two different geologic units, usually distinct rock types, because they're good places to piece together geologic history. Typically, a geologic contact is produced when conditions or events have changed at some point in time. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The contact here shows light-toned layered bedrock against dark-toned massive or unlayered rocks eroding into boulders. The layered rocks have mineral veins that parallel the layers, which is consistent with comparable veins on Earth referred to as beef. That name was coined by quarrymen 200 years ago in response to the fibrous look of veins like this on the southern coast of England. Apparently they were reminded of muscle fibers in beef. The mineral fibers grow when gypsum or calcite precipitate from fluids percolating through underground fractures as they slowly open. The Valley of Mars that I visited in Chile is chock full of gypsum veins that beautifully display this fibrous texture. It was probably during the time when these originally flat-lying rocks were being rotated nearly 90 degrees by tectonic forces that fractures parallel to the sedimentary bedding opened and sulfate-rich water flowed through, producing fibrous gypsum veins. The first gypsum vein identified on Mars was discovered by the Opportunity rover in 2011 on the rim of Endeavour Crater. This was an exciting discovery at the time because it was clear evidence of water flowing through the rocks there probably billions of years ago. And like gypsum veins in Valle de Marte, this one has a fibrous texture, although nearly smoothed away by wind erosion. Fast forward to about a week ago in Jezero Crater, when Perseverance deployed the zoom lens of Mascam Z for a closer look at this vein-crossed rock. As with the vein observed by Opportunity, the ones here are harder than the rock that hosts them, leaving them standing in relief by erosion but that's where the similarity ends. It took images from the R-mounted Watson camera to clearly reveal some obvious differences, starting with the lack of a fibrous texture. Some of the veins have faint linear bands extending along the vein, but not across it like fibrous beef veins. Even more significant, these veins have bits of other stuff stuck on and in them, the greenish, slightly translucent bits are probably olivine grains, which certainly is a common mineral type observed by Perseverance throughout its mission. And they're also very dark, opaque grains that probably are tiny chunks of rock, maybe basalt. So the presence of these grains seems to indicate that the fractures that opened in the rocks were exposed to not only mineral-rich water, but also geologic detritus, presumably at or near the surface. I've yet to see veins on Earth with detrital grains like these, so I don't quite know what to make of them. But deep subsurface hydraulic fracturing of rock thought to produce beef veins appears to be inconsistent with what's now being observed. There's more to this story that's emerging from additional observations by Perseverance, which I'll report in the next episode. But for now, the obvious and unavoidable question to ask, especially for those of a certain age, is where's the beef? <laughs>